today is going to be all about making tin. And to make tin, what do you notice that you have on your body that you have tin of? Hmm. Ten fingers? That is what we will be using today to count with ten. Now, can you think about why we like to make ten with our numbers in math? Because it's a friendly number. You're exactly correct. So we are going to start by looking at the different ways on our fingers that we can make ten. So let's say I put one down. Now I'm going to say, like the other day when we did our number bond, there was a part, a part, and a whole. Well, our whole is always going to be 10 today because we are practicing how to make 10 as a whole. So if I make one part one, so I put down one, what will my other part be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can say that one and nine make 10. I can say two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight make 10. I can also say three and seven make 10. I can say four and six make 10. Or I can say five and five make 10. Now if I keep going down the line here, it's going to be the same numbers as parts, just flipped around. So think of what that property means. Hmm, and what it's called, the commutative property. So now we've talked about all the different ways to make 10. So now we're gonna talk about how to show it. So if you were on a camping trip and you were in your tent, you might have some games inside that you'd like to play. And one of them that I like to do when I go camping is to bring um, playing cards. And so you can make up different games with that. And the game that we have today is going to be making 10. So this is an activity you could do at home if you have some cards. Now today I'm camping out, but I'm not outside because it's storming, so I'm inside. And I still think it's fun to camp in a tent inside, so I am camping in the kitchen. So, what you would do is you would take your cards and you would draw one. And maybe if you have a partner at home, you could do this, or you could just play this game by yourself. So, let's say you draw a card, and I drew a two. So, now you're looking for the part that would go with this part, two to make our whole... 10. So I actually have my cards <clears throat> laid out here face up in a row so I can see all of them, but you could also flip them upside down so you couldn't see them and make a game where you just draw them and see if you can find it. Kind of like go fish. Um, but think to yourself, if I'm trying to make 10 and my part is two, so I can put two down, what's left? What part is left to go with the two part to make 10 as our whole. Eight. So two and eight together make 10, okay? So you can keep going through that and keep drawing different add-ins um, and parts to put together to make our friendly number 10. I'll just do one more example. Let's say we draw a four. Think about, hmm, if I'm trying to make 10 and I put down four, what's left? Six. So four and six go together to make 10. Now, we have been making 10 since kindergarten. So you might already be really good at making 10 or you might still need some help on making 10. So what I advise for you to do is to keep practicing getting faster at making 10 because there's always room for more practice on something. So let's practice getting really good and really quick at making 10. I am going to read you this book. Um, so if you have a tent, you can ask your family if you can put it up um, or you can lay down somewhere and this can be a good night story 
or it can just be a middle of the day story. So this book is called Chicka Chicka One, Two, Three. And the reason I'm reading it is because you're going to see a lot of numbers in here that can be put together to make 10 your whole. So um, you can also see other friendly numbers other than 10 in here. And I want you to see if you can spot them. Oh, there's Fisher. He's getting water. Fisher, say hi. He's maybe wanting to listen to the story. We'll see. We'll see if he'll stick around and listen with us. Chicka Chicka One Two Three. One told two and two told three. I'll race you to the top of the apple tree. Climb, said four to five and six, bright little numbers that join the mix. Hurry, yelled seven to number eight, slow poke fellow who's always late. Chicka chicka, one, two, three, will there be a place for me? Here comes nine to the apple tree. Next comes 10 and then 11. Wow, these apples taste like heaven. Chicka chicka, one, two, three, will there be a place for me? Who do you think is asking if there will be a place for them? Hot pink 12, lucky 13, picking apples red and green. 14, 15, can't you see? They all want to climb the apple tree. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? 16's next to make the scene, climbing branches with 17. 18, 19, one more's 20. Numbers, numbers, there are plenty. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Curvy 30, flat foot 40, climbing up to join the party. 50s, fine and 60s, dandy, 70s, hair is long and sandy. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Let's climb more, says treetop 80, higher and higher, up to 90. Until at last there's 99 and all the numbers are feeling fine, except for zero, who begins to cry. <laughs> chicka, chicka, one, two, three. <laughs> Will there be a place for me? Oh no, buzzing close, bumblebees. Zero hides behind the tree. Get out of your our tree, the bumblebees shout, and all the numbers tumble out. 90, 80, 70 fall, hit the ground in a free-for-all. Oh no. 60, 50, 40 run, no more climbing, no more fun. 30 next, then sweet little 20. Numbers, numbers, no longer plenty. 19 and 18, my oh my, frightened numbers jump and fly. 17, 16, 15 more. Now 14 has hit the floor and 13 too, unlucky guy. 12 had almost touched the sky. Bent up 11, wait, where's 10? 9, 8, 7, follow then. Twisted 6 and top, top hat 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, take a dive. Chicka, chicka, 1, 2, 3. Now I know the place for me. Zero leaps into the sky. Brave little number, he's not shy. Zero lands on top of the tree. Joins with, with 10, now 100, you see. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Here's the place that's just for me. All the numbers come back out higher and higher as they shout. 
chicka chicka one two three zero's hero of the number tree so as you are pointing out which numbers are friendly i want you to be thinking to yourself what makes a friendly number hmm. it ends in a zero so i want you to Go back through the book. You can pause it at certain points and find friendly numbers, and you can list them on a piece of paper. You can take a picture with friendly numbers, um, and you can also today do a card activity or just write down equations that would equal to 10. So I'll see you tomorrow.